Welcome back guys to my Patreon reaction series to March Comes In Like a Lion. This one is episode uh, 17, sorry, 18. I'm all over the place tonight, it seems. Um, yeah, this is episode 18. Last episode, Ray uh, tendered uh, this other match um, against this like prodigy guy who has like, hasn't really like apparently aged in like several years uh, versus like um, his, I think it was his teacher. Um, at the very least, uh, like the guy that uh, invited him along to this um, uh, workshop, that's it. And uh, his uh, adopted dad was there. And Ray kinda brought up um, uh, he, you know, his adopted sister, and, uh, then, of course, he showed up, and, and um, blamed him, uh, yeah, blamed uh, Ray for, uh, you know, her current situation, in terms of, uh, you know, the dad blocking her credit card, and, unfortunately, um, you know, Hinata, Momo, and, uh, Akira, Ak no, um, I'm just going to stuff her name up. Um, Kiri, something. Oh, you know. Anyway, she. Uh, they showed up and uh, yeah, gave him another bento. But of course, she ate it instead. But it's, w it's interesting because as we progress, I've sort of, you know, what's the word like? Um, started off, you know, really hating her. But now I'm more, you know, in term, like, I'm on the, she's not so bad, but she's just, you know, made some pretty poor decisions that's led her to where she is now. And, and like, she, it's quite clear, like, underneath, at well, least is how I'm seeing it at the moment, is that she does actually care for Ray um, as her brother, but... At the same time, like, she keeps this, like, barrier up around when she's around Ray and always has to, like, be on, like, gu on guard against him. And, you know, Ray is pretty much doing the same thing with her. But, like, when they're actually, you know, together and, like, essentially after, like, eating and, you know, you know, they've uh, calmed down a bit, uh... They open up some more, and yeah, it's quite clear, at least so, to me, that I think they really do care for one another, but they just don't know how to really approach it. And again, they're like late teens, so it does make sense. But anyway, let's jump into episode 18 of March Comes In Like a Lion Season 1 in 3, 2, 1. A torrent.
Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can tell they're having a lot of fun playing this. It's quite clear that they really enjoy their hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> is this a this is a Star Wars reference? <laughs> <laughs> Darth Vader versus Obi Wan. <laughs> Does Obi Wan as a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate within forty five <laughs> again. Even though I'm like 18 episodes in, I still don't fully grasp the game. But I still want to try it. <laughs> Well, I th yeah. What do you mean by this disturbing? <laughs> what do you plan on doing with that cactus? Yeah, try, yeah, express what you're trying to say. Steam bun. <laughs> oh, I grabbed my cactus. <laughs> it's disturbing that it's still in play. I guess that's what uh, Ray meant. Hmm. But why is it disturbing that it's still in play?
Hmm. To discuss... To, to discuss the disturbing... Have you been... Is... Are you okay? He definitely needs it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with instant coffee. And I've had it multiple times. And this, kids, is why you need to get at least six hours of sleep. He did say that. That. Hmm. Yeah, that's not nothing if there's rice patties. Ah, uh, okay. It's become less and less. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought that was the case. Why he wants to have a game in his hometown to g make uh, the town popular again, maybe? Bring some much needed exposure to it? That's how I view the situation, anyway. <laughs> this is giving me goof goosebumps. Hmm. Where are you... Oh. Yeah, don't fall asleep in the bathtub. That's how you... Yeah, what almost happened. You almost drowned. Then get out of the bathtub. That's overflowing. Subjected. Mm. Okay. No wonder you're exhausted.
Okay. Mm. For, okay, so that's why he joined. Hmm, okay. Again, you almost drowned yourself. Turn off the tap. You're wasting water for starters. <laughs> mm, okay. Hmm. Passing time. Ah, oh, his report card. Mouse Land? Is that like Disney World? You weren't invited. <laughs> you know, it's, it's possible, but it's still kind of funny. <laughs> Promoted. I don't fully grasp that. Don't know what that means in this uh, in this uh, regard. He clearly wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that is a lot. going the opposite way of everyone else. He's crying. Aww. <laughs> Odin is fine. <laughs> In comparison to going to Mouse Land, whichever, whatever that is. So it's not looking good for Shimura. Hmm. Oh, doorbell. Who's at the door? 
good. Oh. He no Momo. <laughs> I love Momo's expressions here. <laughs> Milk, we have... Oh, of course he's going to say that he, he ate it, then he could. Yeah. Yeah, she ate most of it. Oh, okay, he had two pieces. <laughs> oh yeah, you, yeah, you haven't. He, it's quite clear here that he now has a crush. Well, to be fair, he. You haven't really explained to them who she is. <laughs> because yeah, she heard she clearly heard her being called a witch. Love <laughs> uh Momo is seriously great. Uh did looks like uh she gave Ray some um an umbrella at some point. Scrolly <laughs> teacher. Scrolly teacher. So it's a squirrel that's a teacher. Interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could eat that squirrel. <laughs> Interesting program. While oh, eating some nuts. No. No, they really don't act like it. He's alone. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much figured it out in one.
conceded. I thought as much. I thought he was going to lose. Hometown. Hmm. I guess it's because, yeah, his teacher is away, so it sounds like, um, it's the first time he's noticed that the name of the song is, uh, called Hometown. Hmm. Hmm. Fluffy? Fluffy? Well, I would think it would be nuts, since he's a squirrel, but sure, let's go with bubblegum. <laughs> All right, that was, again, a great, great episode of uh, March Comes In Like a Lion. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's... How would I describe it? Uh, what I'm trying to think here. Um, well, it was good to see... Uh, uh, Momo and uh, Hina again, um, and of course uh, Akari. Maybe it's Akari that I'm. That's her name. I think it's Akari actually. Um, well, I like it when episodes are uh, pretty much centered around them um, because they're always uh, fun to watch. Uh, again, I still hold hold on to what I said last with the last episode that I'm pretty damn sure anyway that um uh his sister uh Kokyo does in her own way care about Ray, but because again they're not you know um uh because you know that they had that um that barrier that's the word that barrier uh, between them um for like 10 years to the point he has to move out. Yeah, the, there's a bit of, um, you know, uh, amosity, that's it, amosity uh, towards each other. And I do thoroughly believe that that barrier is going to break down um, as the story progresses. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts of episode 18 of March Comes In Like a Lion in the comment section below. You can find a link to my latest video over here, link to my YouTube channel here. Find links to my Discord, and my list, etc. in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a great day as always. Bye.